In this video, I created a step-by-step -step guide how to connect two inverters in parallel, 8 kW or 11 kW. Please watch the video until the end because we have some really useful information. The same methodology applies to 11 kW inverters as well, even for the 5 kW, but the 11 and the 8 kW, they have exactly the same menu. The method is applicable throughout the range of our solar inverters. Now, let's start with this one. First of all, let's start with the most basic thing. You have to connect a constant power supply. In this case, I have the mains. I wouldn't parallel the inverters with the solar uh, input only. This is unacceptable. You have to make sure you have an AC supply connected to the input or a, a battery. You can use the battery to power up your inverters and to connect them in parallel, but make sure there is enough power in, in, your, uh, in your batteries. Now, we have to enter the menu 28 very important you shouldn't power the output of the inverter as you can see it is switched off our uh, AC output we go to the menu 28 and we set it to PAL if the output is not activated this menu is free you can change the settings. If the output is switched on, this menu is locked. So in our case, we put to PAL, P-A-L, and we press enter. Now we are gonna move to the other inverter. We will enter the menu again. As you can see, the output is zero, no output voltage. We have only input. Enter our menu uh, 28 again PAL that's a single phase parallel operation if you have a three phase you need to select um, a different setting if you have a three phase configuration you have to go through 3P1 3P2 and 3P3 in our case, we have two inverters in parallel, so PAL. If you don't do that, and the two inverters will be switched on uh, at the same time, two different voltages at different amplitude and angle will meet each other. And the AC output from the mango inverter, let's say, and the AC output from the pitch inverter, they will meet each other at different amplitudes, and this is gonna create a huge circulated current. No inverter can be protected uh, from this um, uh, current there is no protection for this the protection is the AC output is locked is switched off and you follow the procedures as I explained in this uh, video now we are ready the indication SL is flashing here and the indication HS is flashing on the other inverter then we need to put our parallel cables serial communication cables from port 1 to port 2 and from port 2 to port 1 the next stage is to put the current sharing cables this is our uh, current sharing cable we're gonna plug it here yeah So that goes from port 1 to port 1, the other inverter, and port 2, they are sharing some useful information about the current of these inverters, that's why they are called current sharing cables. Now it's ready, now it's safe to switch on the output. We press this button for 3 seconds and this button for another three seconds we are ready no problems at all if you ever switch off your system and you want to go for regular maintenance always make sure that the sl and hs settings are visible on the screen if for any reason you reset your inverter you need to know that before you switch on the outputs again otherwise you are gonna uh, blow up the inverters and most likely you will see the error 09 on the screen. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you find it uh, 
you found it very useful and let me know if you have any questions.